all about the child. There are five things you need to have on every registration form for the child. Number one, their name. Number two, their date of birth. Number three, their gender. Number four, any allergies that they have. Phyllis asked, what should be on our registration form when we are signing up our preschoolers? I'm gonna go over the majority of the things that will be inside your registration form, and there might be a few differences between local and online, so I'll definitely note those. Now, the very first thing you wanna be talking about is the child's information. There are five things you need to have on every registration form for the child. Number one, their name. Number two, their date of birth. Number three, their gender. Number four, any allergies that they have. So whether they have allergies to food or to medicines. And if it's to food, what you wanna make sure is that you know whether it's by ingestion or by touch specifically peanuts, right? And number five, finally, are there any conditions that affect their play or learning? Now, of course, if you're doing online preschool, you don't need to know if there's any allergies with their food or medicines, right? As for their family, there's a couple things you wanna know. Number one, what is their complete mailing address? Number two, what is their family's phone numbers? That includes both parents' phone numbers. And number three, what is the one email that is going to be used in all communications? Now, you might choose whether you want to have all phone numbers with your online preschool. I do recommend at least one phone number for an online preschool, just in case you do need to get in touch with somebody pretty quick, whether that's about a payment or anything else. Also with their family, you wanna know about their parents. So are they still married? Are they separated? Are they divorced? Who is the child living with? You wanna know if there's any custody arrangements or if there's any guardianships or other things that you need to know. Pretty much who's gonna be the main contact for this child that you can have all communication with. You also wanna find out about siblings. I always have them put down the child's name of the sibling as well as their birth date and year. The reason I do this is because all of those children who are younger than my preschooler, I wanna know that when they're coming up of age and are ready for preschool, I can send them out a registration form. So they're coming up in my ranks to be eligible to be coming into my preschool as well. There's also a section you wanna include in your registration form and that's the child release information. Now this is specific to local preschool. Obviously people are not gonna be picking up the kiddo from online preschool. So in your local registration form, do you have several lines for the information for who's gonna pick up? Um, I usually like to include six lines. That's right, six people who can pick up in addition to the parents listed above. And I specifically state that because it says, in addition to the two parents listed above, who else can uh, pick up this child? Now, at that time when they're filling out the form, if for any reason there was any custody arrangements or documents on file that you know maybe the father or the mother wasn't eligible to pick up the child that actually is a court document you have to have on hand otherwise if it is a biological parent you are legally required to hand that child back over at the end of the day um, unless you have court documents so be sure to have those documents on file if anybody's saying oh but you know her dad can't pick her up or her mom can't pick her up whatever okay that's fine but i do need to have the court documents so on the child release info i always like to have the full name, the relationship, as well as the phone number. Because if for some reason a kiddo isn't getting picked up, you need to have that phone number so that you can call not only the mom or the dad or who else is you know listed as the guardians, but the next person in line. Uh, one time we actually had a mom who had surgery and she took her kid to preschool but then she promptly fell asleep and she did not wake up in time to pick up her kiddo from preschool so mom didn't pick up the phone dad didn't pick up the phone all the people on the child release didn't pick up the phone I was kind of in a predicament but at least you have multiple phone numbers that you can try to get through now they're not required to put all six down but I do have six spots just in case hey real quick do you want to start a preschool but you have no clue how to do it I mean I know you're loving these videos that's why you're here but do you actually want want the step-by-step -step process to get you from where you're at to having a successful preschool so you can stay home with your kids and finally create that consistent income? I've got exactly the right thing for you. I want to gift you a free copy of my book called Start Your Preschool. Guess what? 
This has over 300 pages teaching you how to do a local or an online preschool. It's my story of how I started my preschool and also how I've shared this knowledge and this mission with everyone over the past 10 years to help thousands of mothers start their own preschools as well. They've literally gone through this exact same training in my book. I want to get it to you so you can finally, finally stay home with your kids. Don't wait. This is your chance. Get your free copy of my book. Simply go to freepreschoolbook.com or click the link in the description and I'll ship you out a copy for free. I hope you're loving these videos, but let's pause these videos for one quick sec and go get my book. Toward the end of the registration form, you also want to have information about the class that they just signed their kiddo up into. Uh, the class time, the class tuition, the class name, you know, whether it was preschool, pre-K, kindergarten, advanced pre-K, uh, summer camp, all those things. And also you want to have the registration fee for the class. And at the very end, you want to have something that says, yes, I agree to abide by the policies and procedures handbook, which has been explained to me. And yes, I authorize you to use my child's photos and videos to be able to be marketed online for your preschool purposes. Now, there's a couple other nuances for local and online preschool, but that's pretty much what a registration form should include. So you can put all your information onto a one piece of paper for a local registration form, or you can put it onto a Google form for your online preschool. I hope that was super helpful. Post in the comments, what was your favorite part of the registration form that you forgot that you should have on there. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe so that we can get these videos more to you and especially share the message across the world. Thanks so much and we'll catch you on our next video. Phyllis asked, wait, what was the question? Medicine and uh, food. <laughs> wait, are we on four? I don't know. Okay. Number four, any allergies that they have? can't hold my fingers up like this. This is how I count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm gonna do it my way. Heaven help me.